what's my th- what do I normally say? What's going on, smart people? Welcome back to another episode of me sitting on a chair and talking directly into the camera. Very exciting show to watch. Today was my first official day back at JLab. Got my badge and everything. And to be honest, it seems like the first couple weeks of this project is going to be spent by me learning the physics first before I really try to do anything. Like I spent all today just reviewing concepts of special relativity, so how to do Lorentz transforms and four vectors, which are just like regular vectors sort of, except for four components instead of, you know, three. And then, um, you know, their lengths are invariant under Lorentz transform, if you know what that is. Really basic concepts in special relativity, but just something I haven't had to use since ENM, which was a year ago. So, it just had to get some of the dust off the gears. Also, for whatever reason, when I took ENM, my professor avoided tensor notation at all costs, so we used it very minimally. And that is the preferred way of expressing special relativity in this project, which I like because I like working with tensors. I think they're really cool. Uh, one of the frustrating things when you first start to learn about them is how they're defined. And it's, it, it sort of sounds like, oh, a tensor is something that transforms as tensors do, which is like... That's not helpful. <laughs> but really, I started developing uh, an understanding of how tensors work once I started learning general relativity, which I have a couple books on. I actually have Paul Dirac's book on general relativity, which is like, it covers everything, and it's like this thin. So it's a good reference book, but that is not a book I recommend if you're just trying to learn it for yourself. I do have a book that I do recommend, uh, which is more so a book on you know tensor calculus as a whole, but it also incorporates... You know, there's only a handful of real physics tensors, I guess you could call it. Like, you have things like the inertia tensor, and then you pretty much run out of ones outside of GR really quickly. So the a lot of the tensors that they reference in this book are, like, you know, the, the curvature tensor. Um, it even talks about, like, contracting tensors into, like, the Ricci scalar or things like that. I think in the future, in the near future, maybe not that near future, I'd like to have a little series on my channel where I just go through tensor calculus and tether that to general relativity. Once I'm comfortable enough with it to where I feel like I could actually teach it. I'm not going to do it until I hit that point though. And if people are actually interested in it. If you're not, I might not do it. Moral of the story, tensors are cool. You should learn them. I like how it kind of sounds like I contradicted myself saying that I was going over four vectors but then also saying that I'm comfortable with tensors. What I meant was actual physics using four vectors, so things like four momentum and taking inner products of different four momentum when uh, it's actually like a scattering problem. So I just wanted to clear that up real quick. But anyways, um, in other news, my professor or my advisor sort of made me the de facto Python teacher because not everyone in my internship group is comfortable with Python. In fact, I think I'm definitely the most comfortable with it. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is coming up with a few math problems, solving it in C++, and then showing how I would solve that same problem in Python. That way there's a little, almost like the Rosetta Stone of programming languages. That way they can see how the syntax of Python works. But on top of that, this is the thing that I'm most excited for. Uh, our advisor said that he's going to be sending us some exercises to work through which are similar exercises, actually exact exercises from the homework that he would give while he taught QCD. And it's kind of funny because uh, when he said this I was like, oh okay, and we'll just get this done over the weekend and then have these to you by Monday or when do you want these? And he goes, you're not going to be able to get these done over the weekend. Besides all that, I'm going to end the video here. Sorry if it was short. I really never know how long I've been talking until I start actually editing the videos. But I'm going to get some rest because tomorrow is a very big day. I graduate tomorrow. So tomorrow's video should be pretty cool, should be pretty interesting, assuming that I actually edit the graduation video tomorrow. Uh, more than likely, though, tomorrow's video will be a little bit late. I should still have it all edited before I go to sleep, but it's Eastern time here. I live in Virginia. So... You know, if it's not out until like 1 or 2 in the morning tomorrow, that's why. Let me know in the comments section if maybe a mini-series on tensors is something you'd want to see. And I'll see you guys there.